This video is about weighted average loan life in a project finance transaction. So the first question that I want to answer here is what is the weighted average loan life? So the definition of weighted average loan life is the average time that it takes to repay the principal of the loan. So I said it's the average time. So the unit of measurement of the average loan life is the number of years. So it's time. Okay, so that's how we express the average loan life. In terms of the calculation, now the second question is how do we calculate it, right? So in terms of calculation, as the name says, it's a weighted average. So what are the weights? The weight is the number of repayments. So meaning that, so you have a debt that you're going to repay it in different installments. Okay, and you're going to give a weight to each installment. How are you going to give these weights? As you progress with the repayment of the debt, meaning that you go forward into time, you're going to give a higher weight to those repayments that comes later, as opposed to the one that you pay earlier. So that's going to be the weighted average of the principal repaid of each installment. And then you divide it by the debt size. And that's going to give you this metric that we call weighted average. Now we're going to go into Excel and look at some examples and see if we can better understand this metric, which is the weighted average loan life. Okay, let's look at a simple example. We have a loan. The total size of the loan is 100, 100 million euros, let's say, and it is basically priced at 5% interest rate per annum. And the loan is, is supposed to be repaid over five years, so five installments. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to calculate the weighted average loan life by selecting different principal repayment methods. First, let's start with the balloon repayment. So what is a balloon repayment? A balloon repayment, as you can see here, is a repayment where you're going to pay the whole loan outstanding amount at the end of the loan life. So in our example, the 100 million will be repaid in chunk in one tranche in one installment in year five. OK, and that's the one that is selected here with this switch. So if we're going to come down and we're going to calculate the weighted average of loan life, which, as we said, is just the weighted average, the weighted uh, average of the principal repaid in Excel language, we are using the sum product function. We are multiplying each installment by the number of repayment, and we are dividing it by the total loan amount, which is hundred. And as we expect in this one, the loan life, the average loan life will be five years, which is equal to the maximum number of repayments that we have or is equal to the uh, tenor of the loan. OK, now we're going to do a second method, which is the equal principal repayment. So in this method, we are paying, we are paying the same principal in each installment. OK, let's switch to that. As you can see in the chart, the chart, the green bars are showing the debt service, meaning the principal plus interest. And the red line is basically the percentage repayment profile. So as you can see, it's the same uh, percentage, 20 percent in each year so that we have 100 percent repaid over five years. And in terms of a debt service, we have a downward trend in the equal um, principal repayment method. So now let's see what is the impact on the average loan life. Remember, in the balloon payment, we had an average loan life of five. In the equal principal repayment, we do the same thing, some product of the uh, principal repayment numbers and the principal repay divided by the debt total debt amount and that's going to give us in this case three so meaning that three years average loan life in this case is 
three years okay and i also like sometimes to express the weighted average long life over the dead tenor and that's going to give also an indication for example this is 60 percent of the dead tenor it's just the way another way of expressing it and sometimes it is good for um, basically benchmarking i have a rule of thumb that says that you know 70 percent is the maximum so i'm not going beyond 70 percent but of course we're going to discuss it later that's something that you need to discuss with your lenders that what is the maximum weighted average loan that they require okay so now we're going to go to another principal repayment which is the annuity in the annuity repayment as you know we have the same installment in terms of principal and interest in each model calculation period okay so as you can see here the green bar are all the same however when it comes to the principal repayment in the annuity it is slightly um, back-ended you know the principal repayment so if you look at the percentages you see that we start with paying 18 percent 19 percent and towards the end we pay 22 percent of the loan so it is kind of back-ended repayments uh, the annuity repayment so in this case we do the same formula weighted average and what we get as a result in terms of the weighted average loan life is 3.1 year okay so in the other one in the equal principle we had three in this one is slightly higher is 3.1 years of uh, weighted average loan life okay and in terms of the percentage the percentage of the tenor it is 62 percent now in the last method that I want to show you, this is like the sculpted one, which is going to be the topic of my next post. And in this one is just, I call it also a la carte. So you come up with the lenders, they don't impose to you a certain repayment profile. They don't tell you that you have to pay me equal, uh, the same amount of principal in each uh, calculation period or in each installment. Or they don't tell you that you need to pay me the same amount of interest and principal in each installment. That's not what they require. They tell you you are free to sculpt and pay me however you wish. However, of course, they're going to impose some limitations that we're going to discuss in the next post. So one of them, just to give you a hint, is this weighted average loan life that we are calculating today. So I came up with a very back-ended repayment profile. As you see here in this profile 4, I start with 2% only, then I gradually increase to 7%, 7%, and then finally to... Okay, so there was a slight mistake in the repayment profile, the a la carte one, which I corrected. So now we are back on track. So I switched to this uh, a la carte profile and I came up with a very back-ended repayment profile. I start with paying 5% and gradually 15, 25, 28 and 27% at the end, towards the end. So it's very much, you know, pushed towards the back. So I expect if I just pause and without even calculating the, the weighted average loan, I expect to have a higher weighted average loan life because I'm pushing most of the repayment towards the end of the life of the loan, right? So now I come and I look at my weighted average loan life under this sculpted repayment profile. And as you can see here, the weighted average loan life is 3.5 six years remember in the previous one it was in the annuity it was 3.1 in the equal principal repayment it was 3.0 and in the balloon payment this is the extreme one it was exactly equal to five the number exactly equal to our debt life okay so as we expected this is basically how the weighted uh, average loan life is measured as I told you, this is another metric that the lender consider when they are evaluating the project. So when you are building your financial model, you need to ask your lenders 
what is their requirement in terms of weighted average loan life and they should be able to give you their maximum tolerance in terms of weighted average loan life. If you have this information together with other metrics like minimum debt service coverage ratio, minimum LLCR, and other metrics that we're going to discuss in the upcoming uh, post on debt sculpting, you can come up with a sculpted repayment profile. Okay. However, another thing that I want to mention before I go is to include a check. So if you have this information from your lenders that they require a maximum weighted average loan life, then I recommend that you also include that in your financial model and include a check. So for example, in this model, okay, so in this worksheet, I do the weighted average loan life. This is a real project model. So I calculated the weighted average loan life and it is 6.2. From what I know from my lenders, they say that the maximum they can tolerate is 8.4 years of uh, maximum uh, average loan life. So once I have these two information, I just compare the two and I would say that, you know, I include a check in my model to make sure that once I change things in the model, once I maybe come up with another repayment profile, this condition is always satisfied. Okay, so that's it for me for this video. I hope you liked it and hope to see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.